Okay, so hold on one second. I hope that I am in frame. I hope so. Hold on one minute, muffins. Okay, I really am hoping that I'm in frame or something because I, I'm using the, the back, whatever. Okay, hello muffins. Um, this is, um, want to come in to do an update. Not as much as on my weight because I normally weigh myself on Saturdays or Sundays at my job because their scale is a lot more better than the scale that I have. Honestly, I really don't even use that digital scale because it's just weird. It never tells me the right weight. So, the last time I came to Muffins, I was 209. I am still 209. I think I came to like a week ago or two weeks ago. No, a week ago. So I'm still um, 209 pounds. Um, but New York, wait, New York cutie, NYC cutie, um, she commented on one of my pictures on Instagram. It was like I'm nine pounds away from Wonder to the Wonderland or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know too much about the Wonderland stuff, but she told me, I was like, okay, cool. So I got nine more pounds before I am 200 pounds. That is still a lot of weight for me. The lowest weight I've ever been was 145, but that was when I was pregnant 23 years ago with the twins. But further along with that one, I'm um, in my adult life. The smallest I've ever been was 100 and I think 175. So 175 will put me back ooh, a long time ago when I um, had my last daughter. Um, I don't know if I would be comfortable at 175. My goal weight is 180. Um, I'm not really fixated too much on um, stressing out about how much pounds I'm going to lose this week, next week. I don't stress myself out about that. As long as I feel comfortable with my clothes, I'm cool with it. But this video today, I wanted to do an actual body shot again because I am smaller muffins like I got to show you something but let's get into just numbers and stuff right about now so I had my surgery December the 31st at Montefiore Hospital my starting weight was 262 my current weight is 209 which is mind-blowing like I really am feeling I'm seeing the weight loss. I know I think the last time I said I really wasn't seeing it, but now I'm seeing it because my clothes are so much smaller. Like the number still is big to me, but my clothes size is really coming down a lot. So that's something that I really am happy about. So I don't know how much time I have on my phone um, as memory. So I'm going to make this really quick. Um, really nothing much is going on this week. I have... Um, I've been getting in a lot of protein because I've been cooking a lot more. I've been cooking a lot more healthier. Um, I am still unable to eat a large quantity of food, but I am getting in more food now, which is really good. I'm getting a lot of liquids. Um, let's see. So I, I, I think I'm doing really, really pretty good. I was supposed to go to the gym on Monday or Tuesday with one of my coworkers, but she never called me. So. Um, my daughter is home and she's talking about um, taking a kick, kickboxing, um, like not like a kickboxing class, like really sign up for kickboxing and boxing and stuff. So I think me and my daughter is going to do that together. I think that'll be really, really fun. And I think I will be more interested in that than just going to the gym. You know, I don't know, the gym is pretty boring to me, but um, kickboxing is probably something I would be interested in. And also, like, maybe, like, a sexy pole dancing class. I have to come down a lot more than what I am now before I will get, um, you know, just put myself out there as for doing pole dancing. But they do have they do have that out here where I live at so that's really good for me to get into I want to talk about my hair loss again every time I wash my hair I notice I am losing tons of more hair um you really can't see it too well because I kind of just wear my hair like this or I wear it up in a big bun and it's usually up pretty high so you really can't see but muffins I am losing more hair look at this like I ordered some um, Dr. Miracle's stimulate, stimulating oil, like a hair growth thing, and also like a growth for um, my edges and stuff like that. So I'm going to try that. I was doing the castor oil and all of that type of stuff, but it was really building up a lot in my hair, and it was making my hair itch a lot, my, my scalp itch a lot. 
so I kind of stopped using it because the oil was really too heavy for my hair so I ordered the Dr. Miracle stuff and I'm waiting for that to come in the mail but yes I am still I'm not losing it in the back I'm not losing it in the middle it's just right around my right here and now it's going further back and I don't like my locks have never been this thin before like this is really thin and I have small locks but my roots was never thin like this it's coming out a lot more on this side than this side but I'm just really trying to deal with it I know that it will grow back um, it's not popping from the roots so I'm really not too worried about it but like I said I'm not doing too much stress and this is the most I do with my hair when I wash it I braid it and then that's it I'll take it out and this is how I will wear it until the next time I'm ready to wash it so but I'm still losing a lot of hair so let me get into the body shot really quick I hope you muffins can see me um, let me move my chair and this is what I look like now. And this is a size one. No, this is a size extra large. I have not worn an extra large in my young 30s. And I'm 40 now. I'll be 40 in October. So this is... Oops, I'm knocking over my TV. I'm trying to stay in frame. So this what I have on is, a, is an extra large. And I really am... What I'm noticing is that my butt is really coming down a lot. I'm really losing my butt. But um, this is a extra large and I wanted to show you a comparison to my bigger uniforms now I can't find the 3x uniform shirt so um, I don't know but this is a 2x and you can see how big this shirt is like this shirt really covers me a lot so I don't like when I put on clothes then I notice how small I'm getting and this is another shirt this is one of my uniform shirts and this is a 2x and this shirt is humongous on me now now when I first got this shirt it was really tight on me and believe me I like this shirt I fit like to the T um, then I have a shirt to where my arms were so big that I used to have to cut the arm part like this one I don't even have to cut it anymore to fit into my shirts now this is a 2x and here you can see where I cut the arm so my arms could fit into my shirt I don't have to do that anymore so I am a extra large now my friends I am a extra large that is so amazing and I feel so good that I'm coming down a lot you know um, the weight is not coming off as fast as I want it to but I really do look phenomenal I'm so happy with the way I look I went out with my daughter one day last week and when I put these jeans on I was like OMG they were a size 17 18 no there was a size 17 so but I'm now I'm like a size 16 17 a 18 is too big for me um, my butt you know my thighs and stuff is still fitting in but i have a lot of room around my waist so my waist is coming in i'm so happy i'm so happy i think this is the best thing that i've ever done in my life like one of the best things that i've done so um that's it muffins i'm just getting in from work i'm gonna wash this crap off and i'm going to bed so thank you muffins for watching and bye